And the inf- unfortunate part of it is that sometimes we don't even know uh, that we've been traumatized or that we are traumatized. We don't know the signs. Uh, we just go with the flow. And most of it is because of our environments. You understand? You see it. It's in your neighborhood. It's in your community. It's in the people that you hang around. You know what I mean? So you see it all the time. So you don't even think that something is wrong with it or something is wrong with you and or your community and that needs healing okay you know it it, because it and because sometimes uh situations have not been punished they have not been addressed and they have not been punished and and those certain things are that someone molested you no one ever addressed it nobody ever dealt with it you reported it but it was not taken seriously you know someone um did I say molested yeah so if someone molested you or someone raped you um you know just these sexual crimes or someone conned you into having sex with them you you really didn't want to but because that's what you see in your neighborhood or in your community excuse me you just went with it but you really didn't want to you know but it was because you have not been taught how to say no or you know you just are ignorant of you were ignorant of whatever so that is you know, we have. It's it's really important that we come out of our comfort zones, places that we, you know, usually frequent, the people that we usually uh, congregate with. You 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 gotta come out of that. You can't continue to be around the same kind of people. You know, it's it, it, you're you know. <coughs> Uh, because you are, you know, you'll stay on that same level if you do, and you won't experience life as it has been meant for you to experience. You won't grow. You won't go any further. You only think that this is all I can be. This is all I am. You know, and some of us are like, well, um, I don't want to betray. Uh, betray my or be disloyal uh, to my community so I'm just going to stick with this or people are going to say this that and the other if I try to move from the herd (laughs) move from the herd okay move from the herd and move from the herd Because you're you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to move away from the herd to be exposed to other things, and then you're gonna have to really physically move yourself out of those communities that have held you back for so long, you know. Because we have to come up to a higher level, we must come up to a higher level. We cannot sit in ignorance, there's too much life out here, there's too much to be done. And people, unfortunately, are dying every day. And they're dying with all of that potential inside of them. It's so much potential in a graveyard because individuals have refused to move, refused to be exposed to something that is different, better, good, and and whatnot. And it doesn't make you, oh, I'm better than them, or it doesn't make you uh, a bad person that you want to improve your life or expand your horizons. It does not. You know, I love books. I've loved books since I was a very, 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 very young child. I've loved reading. Even right now, I have so many books just around me uh, because I think that is such a great blessing from God for us to be able to read because reading gives us information. It exposes us to things. You don't even have to leave your bedroom, your your living room, you know, you don't have to leave it be- because, but it'll give you an appetite, prayerfully, it'll whet your appetite and give you a hunger and or thirst 
for more knowledge and more uh, information to bring you out of where you are. You know, you could be in the roughest situation right now, but because you have read something and you're like, oh, you know, I mean, this really exists or, you know, something like that. But I just want to encourage you today to come out of wherever you are or wherever you think you're stuck in, pick up books, go to the, your to your local library and get certain books and, 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 and uh, you know, and I like autobiographies. I like biographical, uh, biographical, biographical, uh, works. Nothing really fiction-y, uh, because I just like the real life of it, you know. Uh, I like people's life. I love history. I'm a very historical person. Uh, but yeah, so, and, and, and I like to see how people, you know, they were living in a certain way, and but they didn't let that stop them. They traveled, they read, they wrote books, they wrote poems, they met with different people, dignitaries and people of various walks of life, you know, and that is how you become a well-rounded person and healthy, you know, and you don't look your nose down on people no matter where you come from or how far you go. You still, you don't look down on people because you've been there you know and what is looking down on people what is that that's such a a rude foolish uh ignorant <laughs> uh position uh, or you know uh, uh you know or whatever so anyway i just want to encourage us move on move forward um every nobody's everybody's not going to like it and and don't share what you're doing i'm sorry just Stay quiet and do your thing because people are going to discourage you. People they don't understand and some they don't want you to leave from where you are because they feel stuck. And now when when you get to where you're going, then you can reach back and get them or shares, you know, you be you'll share your experiences and how you did it, etc. 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 But in the meantime, while you're working on it. You don't say a word. Moms is the word. You know, they might say, well, where you been? Oh, I had a, a sick friend. Oh, whatever, you know, and just whatever. You know, I'm not encouraging you to be a liar. I'm just saying, don't, ex don't tell them what it is that you're really doing, you know, because, and the more you get away from those communities and environments and individuals, You'll, you'll start see, you know, seeing that, oh, oh, you know, like, mm -mm. no, this is not it. You know, like, I don't want to, because you'll be different. You, you will see things so much clearer. You, there's be, there will be so much clarity, you know, and whatnot. And it's, it's been, you know, some people, you know, like I was saying about that loyalty and people will be like, well, I don't want to leave, you know so-and-so behind or whatever what's so-and-so is not ready to come and you're not attached to so-and-so you didn't come here with so-and-so and even if you did you still have to move forward okay so don't don't be that kind of person that feels like they have to stay in a situation because of this that the other don't do that to yourself and or to your family you may even have children or someone, or small children, or children that you might be taking care of or are responsible for uh, in some way, shape, or form. They could be your godchildren, or uh, could be children that you are, um, you know, teaching in a program or whatever, you know. So, anyway, I'm gonna get off of here. But I wanted to share that, you know, regarding the traumas and certain rejections uh, that we deal with and whatnot. And uh, I know it doesn't seem like it goes with why he won't marry you, but it really does. And it's not really about marriage, but I know a lot of women, they want to get married and they wonder why they, they're not married or why he didn't marry 
you, but he married her. And a lot of times that's that's a big rejection and it you know it doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? Um but it, it happens. But it happened because you were not ready also. You were not the woman of your dreams, let alone of his. So, you know, we gotta work on ourselves. Um, prayerfully, as time goes on, we'll speak more about certain things um, on how to prepare yourself and develop yourself. And, and for free, because everybody doesn't have money, because they have all of these courses and everybody is a coach out here or whatever they call themselves, mentors or, or whatever, but they want you to drop a dime. And really, freely you, you receive, freely you give. You know what I mean? You, you, they didn't. You know, I, I'm. You know, I'm not gonna go there. But uh, prayerfully, we'll touch on a lot of subjects in order to help you develop. Um, because I understand. I truly understand. Been there, done it. Thank God for the the coming out, <laughs> as you as you will. And whatnot. So, anyway, I love you very much. Prayerfully, that this information has been helpful to you. Um, and, you know, open your eyes or at least, you know, you know, bring some type of information or understanding or something. Freedom, deliverance. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye for now.